to do some more of Kingdom Come Deliverance. <clears throat> uh, now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to stream last week, um, but at least I am back again today. So, um, I also apologise about running late today. Uh, ended up sleeping in a bit and not been feeling too great today, but otherwise I feel, you know, I feel a lot better now. So yeah, so I apologise about that. So, without further ado, um, let us continue you know, with, you know, some medieval, medieval stuff. Um, so I'm carrying a reasonable amount of stuff at the moment. Uh, what was I doing of my quests? Uh, oh yes, the House of God. Need to fi you know, uh, finish that. Um, I have to get the two. Ah uh, yes, <clears throat> I was doing the miracles and stuff. So <clears throat> let us continue with the sc uh, skull fakery. Um, oh yeah, so who do I need to speak to? Um, so it's the red one. Oh yes, I need to show a broken stone block from someone from Tarnberg. Scaffolder. Yes. <laughs> so, <clears throat> let us head to Tarnberg and speak to someone about the stone because the... Now I get the suspicion that someone has been replacing stone. Right, let's see. <clears throat> it's just before midday. Oh, didn't realise how hungry I was. Oh well, that's fine. We can deal, we can deal. Oh, and of course. Let us find out what's going on with this. So straight into a bit of fighting for you guys. Oh shit! Oh, well, that didn't take long. Just. Oh my god. Oh snap, this is not gonna go well. <clears throat> um okay, for starters, he's wearing Oh shit, I'm wearing my sneaky gear. Fuck. Uh should not have engaged with this. No. Why was it my, my sneaky gear? Oh wait, yes I remember because I was sneaking around the monastery. Oh snap. Uh... So, note to self, don't get hit. <clears throat> so that's fine. Alright, swap weapons. Oh, come on. So, no plate armor for me. Come on. Oh. Not Jack. Ah, oh, bitch. Nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can do this. Oh. Nah, alright. Oh, bugger, stop it! Oh, you bastard. I really need my armor. Yes. Oh, 
Mm. And I've forgotten the combos. No. That's it, dodge, little bitch. Oh, come on. Hello. Uh, hello. What's that one, Chuck? Uh. Not death. Yeah, not death. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can't really think of anything at the moment. If they have any, do you want any donuts? Uh, please? Cool. Uh, yes, please. Thank you, baby. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh. Let us uh, pick up some shit. Oh. Steal your money. Moonshine. Ooh. All right, Sam. I'm only ex interested in your in your expensive shit. Now, it was interesting enough that you know I spawned in and everybody died. So let's see what you had. Trader, having you have like bugger all on you. Uh oh, apparently that's worth some money. <clears throat> now I remember they went off in vaguely that direction. Ooh. <clears throat> Take some of that. Ooh. Gonna get me some money. Thing worth that much there. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have some of that. <clears throat> and then, of course, transfer it to the horse. Yeah, I don't know whether I should attempt to follow them or not because I had such trouble that one. Silver ring, and you've got nothing special. Mm, you, cabbage, cheese, groschen, onion, radish. Mm. You can keep that. Oh, fuck it. Wait, what's that? Oh, it is another body. <clears throat> Human. So maybe at least one of them got away? Eh. Each their own. Alright, fruit, groschen, pretzel. Fine, you can keep the rest of that stuff. And now I'm over encumbered. Of course I am. Just have a quick looky looky. Just in case there is something that I've missed, but I don't think so. So I've got that. <clears throat> I defeated you. Yeah. <clears throat> so, horse, what have you got on you? <coughs> Sorry. <sighs> Sorry about that. I do have all of this other stuff. 
actually have... Oh my god, here comes another sneeze. Or not. It's probably just going to creep up on me when I least suspect it. Right, let's take the kit so I can repair stuff and then remove it. Let's see. Nope, apparently that's buggered. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Copper's kit. And come on, Taylor, 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 where are you, Taylor? <clears throat> let's go for the small kits first. And let's try the big ones. No. Now, what? You need a Taylor's kit to repair gold chains and necklaces and rings? That's really weird. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm a tailor. I can repair all of that small shit. <laughs> cool. So... Let us remove some stuff. <clears throat> well, I need to make sure that I'm carrying all of my better equipment. So we'll equip those. It's still surprising that the short sword is still really hard. Uh, you longbow. I will keep that on me just in case I come across any more armoured enemies, but eh. So the Cuban bow can go, so can that. Bye bye, smoked war no, warhammer. That's just worse. Go away. Cool. <laughs> and the Miller armor horse, you can take it. It's classed as stolen because, yeah, I looted the corpses. I'm not over encumbered anymore. Quest items. Uh, so, yeah, let's get rid of the kits. Ah, that's stolen. Yeah, it is slightly annoying that, you know, you can't carry that much. But, at the same time, it is more realistic. So, I shouldn't really complain. Uh, get rid of that. How can you tell? Mm, that salt is stolen. Um, hey, Louie man. Hey, how's it going, buddy? But yeah, I'm not too bad. And um, feeling a teeny tiny bit under the weather, but nah, it's all good. But don't worry, I was running a bit late myself, so. <laughs> uh, but how are you today? Uh, get rid of you. Get rid of you. There we go, much better. Much, much, much better. Um, but before I continue, yes, I can eat all the moldy stuff to give me moldy bread. Nom nom nom. Uh, 27. Ooh, is that going to be exactly enough? Yeah. Uh, all good, my friend. All good. Oh, that sound. Um, don't know about you, but the weather here today is pretty crappy. It's, you know, it's been raining, it's not raining currently, but it's all cloudy and shit. So, yeah, it's amazing. <clears throat> right. Human dustbin, yes. And, yes, I'm slowly but surely regenerating health. You know what? It's because it's been a while. Hello, Bo. Hello, bunny. Ah. <laughs> I suck. Oh, come on. I'm gonna hit you. Nope, I am not gonna hit you. 
Oh, come on. I am so not used to this now. I'm gonna hit the bunny. Oh, that was so close. Oh, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. <laughs> Well, if I had an award for killing a tree, that's the bunny again. I was going to say it disappeared. You know what? I give up. You are lucky today, bunny. Whoa! All right. Yeah, uh, I'm all well, thank you. I'm just a bit, a bit cold. Ah, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for the host. Um, yeah, weather isn't that good here either. Ah, that's not great. <clears throat> that is not great at all. I think it's just that time, that time of the year now. It's starting to get a bit shit. Um, here we go. So we are heading off to Tarnberg to check out the stone. Then I need to come all the way back. Ah. <sighs> so, I wonder... What else we're going to come across? No. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Whoa. <laughs> oh, what? Seriously? I only just been attacked. What the hell? Scouted out. At least my health has regened. Hmm. Hmm. I sense an ambush. Let's go up here. Let's see what happens. Wait a minute. Give me the bow. Use my powers. No? I swear there is definitely something in there. Come on, there is definitely... Yeah, there is definitely something there. Come on. Seriously, I was going to hit him in the knee. <sighs> I don't... Hooray! I'll squash you like a louse you are! Oh, come on, that's it. Oh, there's two of them. What's the matter? Come on. Oh. Alright, just you to deal with. Mm, gonna give up? I am, no, you're not gonna give up. Okay. Come on. Bye bye now. Yeah, I said it's a big bad guy. Well, it wasn't a big bad guy, but you know, I, I I feel my skills at archery have decreased somewhat. Yeah, damn, that's harsh of him. Yeah, it is. And it's just outside of the town. All right, do you have anything interesting on you? Well, nothing expensive, that's for sure. What about you? Bard potion. Wow, that's... and some fine wine. Ooh, you must have stolen that. Yep, we're good. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay, third time's a charm. Onwards to Tarnberg, just so I can check some bloody stone. 
<clears throat> but yeah, they, they, were, they were awfully brave, those two hiding in a bush. Clearly they underestimated, underestimated me. Which it's me, I suppose it's really easy to do. Four o'clock and we're nearly at Tarnburg. Nearly. <laughs> Hiding there, cowards. Well, you know, it's a good tactic, jumping on someone who they're not entirely sure how they're going to react. It's a, it's a good way of going, hey, you're really high, high and skilled and I'm going to get the jump on you. It does work sometimes. Sometimes. And of course we're at the loading screen again. Now I need to dash towards you know, towards where they do the stony bit to have a quick natter. Haha! Excuse me, coming through. I'm on a horse, you're not. Nah, 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 nah. Ooh, won't take me long. But yeah, I'm so glad that they fixed the issue with the rendering, because otherwise this would have been looking really shit right about now. Whoa! Who am I talking to? Looks like it's you. Hey Rupert, look at this bit of Jesus stone that I got. Praised. Well, yes. <clears throat> ah, yes. Let's ask a question. The last delivery of stone in smaller pieces. No. Why would we do that? Yeah. Why would we? We always deliver it in big blocks. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Very important person. Yes, I am the player. Make way they for the player. They were glad you got them smaller pieces, so they had less work to dress it. But that's not possible. It seems the stone you sent never arrived, and they got this instead. Unthinkable. I delivered the last shipment myself because I wanted to exchange a few words with them, and nothing happened along the way. Then someone must have replaced them on site. But mm. what would the builders have out of it? To replace Interesting. It, replacing. And then say we sent it. I don't think the builders know what happened. Most likely, it's someone else who has their fingers in this. A mm -hmm. thief. <gasps> a thief. Here is the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? No. <laughs> what? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. This ain't my stone. Alrighty dokey. Let us go have a look. So now we have to travel all the way back. I'll probably have to find a uh, place to sleep, but eh. So where's the lodgings? Uh, lodgings are there. Uh, screw it. Let's just go back to the monastery and see what we gotta do. So, how much we're gonna bet that I'm gonna get attacked again on the way? I hope not. It's starting to get towards night time and attacks are more frequent at night time. But, you know, people have been brave during the day. The Cumans attacking some traders. Some random farmers decided to rob me. But they didn't last long. The saving grace is that I can't shoot arrows for shit at the moment. But yeah, so the plot thickens with this one. So they've got a skull that supposedly was found on site, but it was planted. Stone, which was never actually delivered. 
So what on earth is happening? Oh, not around here. Yeah, I bet you'll get attacked. Well, you know, if you were putting a bet down, I'm, you know, I'm kind of guessing I probably will. It's a nearly eight o'clock. Going through the forest. Oh. No, it's not going to happen. And let's soon get to the monastery. Oh, we're under attack. Oh, shite. I didn't get attacked. Game is being nice to me. Now I just need to load, and then I need to find a place to sleep. Yeah. So, was it this way that I needed to go? I believe it was. Yeah. Hello. Oops. Just running into you. Over the wall. Yeah, oh, wow, awesome. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, whoops, I passed it. Come on, horse, we can do it. Here we are. Here's the lodgings. Um, I believe I already got a room, actually. Yes, I, I'm certain I have. If not, I'm sleeping in somebody's bed. Fuck it. Um, oh yeah, did I have... Oh yeah, shit, I've still got all of this stuff in here. That I couldn't deal with. Right. Sleep. Twelve hours sleep. Yeah, 12 hours sleep. I wish, you know, that people could just do that in real life because I'd probably be so much better. I definitely don't get enough sleep. But then again, I think most of us don't get enough sleep. Yeah. I mean, Louis Man, how many hours sleep do you reckon you get on average? Because I reckon I get about average, that's six. And every now and again I just sleep in till God knows when. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> that's the work. No. Yeah, there's uh, some um, building work and stuff going on outside. So there's been sounds of drilling and stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't think so. Special delivery. Hello. Thank you. <gasps> and we have cokes. Oh, thank you. BT does my check your card. Hey, boy! You stole my money! Well, hey. our money. <laughs> so technically I didn't steal it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Still, you stole your own money. Your allegations wouldn't stand up in a court of law. I'm therefore throwing out the case. Good boy! <laughs> <laughs> Well, folks, I think I just got owned. Yeah, average like seven or eight or less. Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to have on average about eight hours sleep, but... Good day, Henry. It does not happen that way. No, no, no. Right, so, head towards the red bits. I buy red bits little shield on my, on my thing. Mukao. Hello, Mukao. Yeah. Get back here. Come on. We have important information to deliver. That the game is afoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. And... 
How have they not done that? Oh my god. Okay, um, I don't know if, if you were around, Louis Man, but last time I ended up sneaking in a, into the monastery. So these doors, oh, there's like several of them, are meant to be closed um, and locked. You know, like very much locked. But I opened the doors and left them open and they're still open so I could happily just wander in. Or anybody could just wander in for that matter. Uh, oh, I need to speak to you. Hello, Master. I <laughs> stole your own money. Yeah. Hmm. Has yeah, anything else unusual happened? I can think of a couple of things. When we were extending the scaffolding, they dug up a human skull by the wall. Yes. With horns. The scaffolder Leshek got rid of it straight away, but there are still rumors going round about it. And about the building being cursed. Mm -hmm. The skull with horns? How did it get there? I don't know. I didn't see it with my own eyes, but there were enough witnesses. You can ask Leshek. He'll tell you more. <clears throat> what about the second thing? One of our workers ran away. Wow. That's unusual. Somewhat. Usually, if someone runs away, they take things with them. But he left everything here. Absolutely everything. Hmm. And disappeared like steam over a cooking pot. He didn't tell a soul what he was up to. Interesting. Nice. I looked around. And the stone that fell on that man is different from the rest. I don't know why, but yes, I'm completely glossing great. over the fact that the music in the game is really good. Oh yeah, it is really nice. Else, and we couldn't wait for more. That's do, do enjoy it. It's not the same kind of stone that came from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. But why would anyone do that? I don't Maybe know. he was stealing new stone and replacing it with old stuff. Or to sabotage the construction, I don't know. But the carriage I don't never know. moved. It rained a lot and we couldn't get any work done. Or we'd have been up to our ankles in mud. So someone had to take it out without being seen? That huge piece of rock. It would take a few strong men to shift something that size. Hmm. I know you're trying to help, but someone would have noticed. It couldn't be done without anyone seeing it. Interesting. All right, the skull is a fake. fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. Hmm. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? I don't know. Maybe to it frighten is. the workers, raise the price. But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank, an mm. idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed. Yeah, and I can't find the scaffolder, Leshek. Have you seen him? I've been looking for him as well. He must have gone to the town. He'll be back by nightfall, and you can speak to him then. God be with you. Mm hmm. So, I uh, need Zmora. Let's have a quick word with you. I'm looking for Leshek. Have you seen him? That skull was a fake, and I'd like to have a word with him about it. Well, you won't be seeing him now. I put some pressure on him, and he admitted it was all his doing. Interesting. Why would he do that? I gave him no choice. He told me he did it and said he was going to disappear quick before you got to him. And you just let him go? He slipped out of my clutches and I couldn't catch up with him. He's most likely in Kuddenberg by now. Hmm. Did you tell anyone about it? Of course. I went and reported it right away. But I don't know what they're going to do about it. Hmm. Is that... really? <clears throat> I'm gonna wash myself quick. Hmm... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh... No, I should play in terms of there. Hmm. Going to the building site during the day. Yeah. 
Hmm. All right, let's go have a look. Let's just have a word with different people that I can find. So that's Master Carol. Can't speak to him anymore. Stone Mason. Stone Mason. Overseer's hand. Stone Mason. Another stone mason, another stone mason. Jesus, look where you're going! Alright, calm your tits. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, so Zmola, or whatever his name is, told me one thing. Let's have a word with Brother Porter and see what he says. No. <clears throat> hey there, stranger. Uh, nope. Hmm. Because it's still telling me something here, but that can't be the end of it. And there has got to be more to it. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, there's definitely got to be more to it. That can't be the end of it. Yeah, Master Carol, no. This is really weird. I know I'm in a private area. I don't care. I am looking for someone. Uh. Hmm. What time of day is it? It is... Definitely early in the morning. Overseer, let's talk to you. My respects to you. Uh, I found the head they dug up. Let's see, I worry about it. Someone put it there on purpose. So someone really is plotting. I don't know. Okay, that looks like I already spoke to him. Spoke to him about it. Um, let's talk to one of the normal stonemasons. See if anything comes up. Bit. Did you see the accident that happened here? I didn't see it. I was down at the bottom and I heard something rumble and then screams. I ran up and helped to carry him out. Did you notice anything suspicious? When they left, there was a terrible stench. Where we're being punished for digging up that skull. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Because that honestly cannot be the end of it. Hmm. Because one person said he must have gone to town, and then another person said that he he was he ran off. Oh, that's quite an incentive. do so I'm gonna wait until like early out of part of the afternoon oh wait nourishment sort that out first before I get there so cancel that because maybe it's just because it's first thing in the morning
let's eat some food first. Some off bacon. Yeah, that's better. Right, so now let's skip and skip forward another couple of hours. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because if there was nothing more that I could do about it, it, on, it wouldn't have anything to suggest that I should be here during the day. Hmm. At least I wouldn't have thought so, anyway. But I guess we'll find out. Boom. Right, uh, so no, can't speak to him still. Master Carol, no. No, why is that? There's only a handful of bandits there. Just stonemasons again. And foreign beasts too. Hmm. This is really annoying. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really annoying. So, what am I going to do? That Sigismund is still on the run. As Roland told me Leshek admitted to everything before fleeing. <coughs> hmm. I do not know what to do. Like no, I was about to say it was facing warm. Hmm. I'm gonna have a quick look. Let's see what I can find out. So, gun. House of God. Hmm, maybe it's a bug. Maybe. Because uh, I'm looking at... Seems like this quest may be slightly bugged. I'm really trying to find someone, yeah. Someone called Leshek, because it keeps pointing me to go around here. Yeah. 
stonemason, no. No, I do not know. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to tell Sir Divish. Maybe he did just go, maybe he did just run away. I can't resolve it any other way. Yeah. Just gonna have to go and tell Sir Divish about it. That sucks. I need to build a shed there. But you only cut the tree down last time? I definitely can't speak to him anymore. No. Definitely not. I'm gonna skip you know, skip once more, you know, through to the end just to see if anything happens. Wish I could help you in some way. Yeah, it, it seems like it might be bugged because after I was looking looking it up, it said other people were having the same sort of issue. Unless, you know, maybe, you know well, it could be bugged, or it's just it's one of these timed missions where, you know, you have to basically do it all in the same sort of, excuse me, stretch of time. Yeah, otherwise, you know, it progresses, you know, without your consent, basically. happening. <clears throat> and that's just smaller face again. Yeah, he must have gone. Oh well. Yeah, he must have gone. Alright, um let us So I need to tell him about the stone. Tell Sir Divish about what happened. Let's go travelling throughout the night. This seems like a good idea. Yeah, some games, especially the medieval type games. Now, I mean, I know this one, you know, um, has been like, you know, quest will progress without you, but yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I just didn't end up doing it quick enough, possibly. But this is going to be fun. Oh, Wayfarer! Don't get usually get one of those. What kind of Wayfarer? Eh. Hello? Where is this so-called Wayfarer? Tree. Huh? Hello. That's really weird. No, Wayfarer, have you burrowed under the ground? Hmm. Uh, that's just a bit of fence. <clears throat> okay. 
game, you are being really weird. Because there ain't no one here. Travel down this way a bit just in case. Nope. Not a sausage. Oh well, I tried. <laughs> So, continue onwards to Talmberg. So long, Wayfarer, wherever you may be. But at least it wasn't a fight. But yeah, magical disappearing Wayfarers now. Travel through here. And it's... Night time. We play daytime, night time. Uh, let's join you in the boss. There we are. Well, I am surprised, but nothing else is happening. to inform so that it should, you know, the things, but I can't currently, because it is night time. So I'm going to have to head to sleep, even though I probably don't need the rest. Oh, excuse me. Popping my bones there. Hello. Goodbye. Jake Piper, who the hell are you? Excuse me, villager, as away, coming through. Sleepy sleeps, let's sleeps. There you go, I'm going to be a tad bit hungry when I wake up. <laughs> Thanks, appreciated, yeah, so at least we'll get something with that. With that boss fight, hopefully. Ah, Red Bull. Don't drink it very often, but energy is required today. So yeah, so I will talk to Sidibish, talk to the stone guy. It's probably it's probably not the end of it. I hope not anyway. Give me daytime, I want it to be daytime, so I may continue this stuff. Na, 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 na. And, oh, wow. It's pretty much spot on there. I was about to say, and now. Right, eat food. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Uh, Eleven. Uh, Dry apple, fried cheese. Hooray! I'm full to the brim. Mm, you must be up there, Sir Divish. Oh. 
Hey. Out, out of my way. Bastard! <sighs> Leading me astray like that. Hello. No. Are you serious? Yep, yeah, yeah. yes, I am. I want to talk to you. Stop. There we go. Finally. I've got good news, sir. The source of the problem was inside the monastery. There was nothing more to it. And the construction? We'll continue. The master builder's helper was to blame for everything. With him out of the way, the work will run smoothly again. That's good. You've accomplished your task admirably, Henry. And I should reward you for it. Thank okay. you, Mr. Divish. Take care of that. It should reward me. So why haven't you rewarded me? Reward me! Oh. Alright. Let's go talk to the stone master. But the quest is not finished. Downhill, downhill. We'll see. Yeah. Hello, yeah, come on, quarry men. I fly. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, maybe after doing this, something will happen, but. Sleep in peace again, quarry master. The monastery now knows your stone wasn't responsible for the accident. They had a crook in their own house to blame. Well, I'm glad to hear it. My good name is all I have. If people thought I sold bad stone that causes injuries, then I... They'd buy their stone elsewhere. Exactly. But I have the best mm. stone in the whole province. Oh, we defeated anyway, Evil Merlin. Nice. Show Very nice. Attitude. You saved my life and my good name. Thank you. Woo! So, I got my vitality increased. And a load of money. Very, very nice. So that was, yeah, so that was the end of that. Hmm. Uh, all right. I have to get a tooth from St. Procopius. Branch from the topping of the church roof. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to continue the main quest. <clears throat> yep, it's going to be a while, but I'm going to, you know, I'm continuing the main stuff. So where am I going? I'm going to Rat Eye. It's an activity giver. Seriously, what else is there to do? So many things. Right. Oh, there's an activity down there as well, Jesus. There's always so many things to do. Too many things. So, main quest, let's go. So I'll do a bit more main, yeah, I can do a bit more main quest and then 
do you know, so I can do some side quests at some point, so that's fine. It's always going to be side quests. So yeah, so I, haven't, I still haven't got Sir Radzig's swords back and the sword back yet. I ended up killing Runt, as you do. So what could be could be going on now? Hmm, slow down around slowing down around here, why? Do we do do we do We're getting there. Any action at all on this fast travel? Any at all? Any disappearing wayfarers? Any random people that want to ambush me? Cubans springing a trap? Anything. Anything at all. Uh, apparently not, because we're nearly there. Wait for the loading. Mm. <laughs> I think everything is going well so far. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, I have to agree with you. Right. So Radzig is in here somewhere. God save you, Henry. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna assume it's upstairs. Oh, yep, yeah, it was here. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. Probislavitz? Probislavitz? ordered two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed. Uh-huh. It's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pribislavitz. Oh. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. Oh, nice. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. Oh. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Ah, fakes. Fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Oh. You're saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias. Um. This here is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! <laughs> Plated with silver, so it's still of some. worth. <sighs> Kurva! Fuck! Wow. Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. 
But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these grottons seem freshly minted, so... So we are facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, you let's see what pretty we angry. have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Oh. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Okay. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Ah. <sighs> you're... Excuse me, you're making your way around. That is for sure. Do, 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 Well. <clears throat> Investigation! So, that's fair. Uh, anyway, I am going... What? Are, you are you blind? Yes, I am. I go everywhere blind, don't you know? Um, oh! My horsemanship. Wait for it, wait for it. Stall! Oh damn, that was pretty damn, pretty damn close. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the tailor and get him to fix stuff that I have I haven't been able to. Good day. And it's rendering slowly again. Right, let's just <coughs> Fix them. Is that? Hmm. Well, it's all pretty much fixed, actually. It's dirty. Let's try and uh, yeah, wash myself again. Try and get my charisma score up as much as possible. Because if I'm going to interrogate someone, I need, I need to be suave, cool, amazing, everything which I am not. Charisma is crowned attempt is twelve at the moment. Speech sixteen, so that's pretty high. You might be from Scallops, but so am I, and I'm doing fine. Right, so now I have to travel all the way up here. But yeah, so some peasants actually captured one alive. They must have been doing really shit. Sorry about the noise. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> Some sort of chocolate on top and caramel inside the middle. Nom, nom. Mm. There's an energy bar at the bottom. Oh, you mean um, down there where it's got health, energy, and nourishment? 
And so, or do you mean the bar as in on the normal screen? Uh, horses energy. Um, oh, and when you're on the normal screen, there's obviously your health bar, um, which is in, you know, it's got red on it. And the smaller one to the left is either your enemy's health bar, depending on what, you know, what you're doing. So if you're fighting an enemy, it'll show your enemy's health. But otherwise, if you're on a horse, um, that's, yeah, that's your horse's stamina, basically. And obviously, if that, you know, gets too low, you know, he'll, he might end up throwing you off. You know, or just basically stopping. Yeah, because it's got a green, you know, a green bar on it. But otherwise, it's empty. But the very bottom, uh, or across the bottom, the yellow one, uh, that's your stamina. Which, of course, is very important. Yeah, okay, got it. That's cool. That's no worries. And... Yay! I've kept up my diet good enough that... <clears throat> balanced diet, which basically balanced diet means I get buffs. That you have to keep up being nourished, but not overstuffed or starving at any point for three day, well, three in-game days. Right, so day, Henry. let's ask God. Nope, I don't want to pickpocket you. Um, villager, let's ask you. What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. Pestilence. Right. These bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned humans, but they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Melichars. Oh, okay. How did you manage to fight them off? Well, with a fist. We were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a You're little about. No worries, Lee, man. See you back in a bit. To warn old Melichar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that. But they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got cut up something terrible, and a few others. Mm. We've a number of wounded. And now the plague to crown it all. Christ preserve us. Mm, that's not good. Melichar, Straw. Those names are new to me. They're locals. Melichar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. Oh. May God grant him eternal peace. And Straw, that's the local woodsman. Poor fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. <clears throat> wow. Where will I find Melichar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melichar's is the house on the left. Mm -hmm. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Oh, okay, so they're pretty much right next to each other. And the disease? Tell me something about it. Yes. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. Makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock. And now it's people, like Melikar's wife, poor thing. Hmm. I'm looking for Matthias. I think he works at the stud here. Matthias, Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long, isn't that right? Not long, it's true. Mm hmm Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way. But at least he's still alive. Thank you. Thank you, that's all. Okay. Right, so let's talk to people. So I need to talk to the bailiff about some other things. Um, so let's have a quick look and see. No 
look at these. So A is the local bailiff, B is Matthias. So let's talk to Matthias. Hello. How? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Mm -hmm. He took me into his garrison. Hal the blacksmith's boy in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? Mm. My luck hasn't been so good. You survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. <clears throat> yeah. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? <laughs> Folk is saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Damn. Hmm. It's weird about the sickness, because I thought you were. Well, well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. Fell on you. Badly broken, but better than a broken neck. <clears throat> no, here, yeah, have a healing potion. I can sort you out. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melahar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melahar still hasn't decided what to do with him. Hmm. I understand old Straw wants revenge, but first I have to question that bandit. What happens after is no skin off my nose. Mm, that's fair. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? Hmm. No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. No, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? <laughs> Aye, what? and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could have, and they took the bastards by surprise. That's pretty fair. So, the sickness, about let's ask about it. <clears throat> when did this plague start? Right after the raid. The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. Hmm. <clears throat> Sabotage. What are the signs that someone was getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Mm. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Yeah, that's a bit... Who's ill now? I don't know. What well, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to need to speak to them. Can I ask you a bit about metal yet? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Cool. Tell me something about Can Straw. Can you tell me something about old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Mm. It's normal to grieve, though. 
Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Oh. Oh, Where can that's I not good. When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. <clears throat> What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. Uh, I know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they pick Malakar. Yeah. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. Aye. Where does Melikar Welcome, live? Henry. When you take the I'm having a conversation, stables, so fuck off. You'll see two cottages outside. Melikar lives in the left-hand one. Okay. <laughs> he just kind of flopped out. Oops. <clears throat> okay, so stables. Main gate out of the stables. Where is the stables? Where is all this smoke coming from? Oh, it's them burning the bodies. Oop. Should have really guessed that. Alright, so main gate out of the stables. Right, where is the main gate of the stables? Come on, map. Come on, map. Tell me. So that is the stables. So main gate. That must be the main gate. <clears throat> yeah. So there's two cottages. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh. This is marked. Ah, oh, so that's straw. Mother, he's gone. I can't bear the pain. Hmm. That's just a villager. <clears throat> but it would appear that Straw does not want to talk to anyone. So which one? Straw was on the left, wasn't it? <clears throat> let's open. Uh, let's open him up. Try and talk to her. Oh. Nope, it is her. Lord, what are you punishing me for? Uh, no, my God. No, let me sleep. Okay, so nope. That's not happening. So I can't talk to you. So... Yeah, let's try this one. Woodcutter. Yeah. Villager. Melikar. Yeah, I can talk to you. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry. Envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, mm -hmm. we have pestilence raging here. But Saradze won't help us with that. Any more than he helped us when we were attacked. 
<sighs> no news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. I do have some skills. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes. yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. Oh, hello. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. She is. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. So I've just left the monastery. Then I have to go back. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. Oh yeah, they will. To see. My wife is feeling... Hey, that's no worries doing, man. You know, uh, but yeah, welcome back. Some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses, but don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Right, so. That's fine. Investigate the plague. I asked the ba I didn't ask the bailiff. He's not the bailiff, is he? <clears throat> right. Let's go back in here. Straw, you're going to talk to me now. If you don't, I'll fucking smack you. Oh, well, what's going to happen? What? Have you come for my wife? You're out of luck. I'm old straw, don't you know? Straw! Uh -huh. You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? Oh my God. I'm sorry that they killed your son. I truly am sorry. But if you don't want that disease to take your wife, you'll let me see her right away. I can help her. Uh, maybe. Yeah, thanks. Oh, just in time for the boss. Oh, yeah. No. There. You see? Eh? Uh, what? Are you a quack? Something like that. <laughs> quack, quack. Get to it. Go. Fucking. Can I talk to you a bit? Alright, no. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchard's wife. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchard's wife. Hmm. Fever! I didn't even investigate his wife. Right? So, let's, uh, let's go have a look at your wife. Yeah. Go, go away. All right, all right. I'll leave you alone. Right, um, so the ones that have been marked um, have got things on their door. So, let's go around the houses. Oh, you've been marked. Hello? Hey. Um, um, um. Why has this happened? Why? Um. Anthony, my beloved Anthony. This kind of ruins the immersion. She's got a body in her. Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? Yes. My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. 
The Lord's already taken my poor Antony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Malikar said the dead should be buried at once. Ah, they should be burned. Mmm, yes. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. Let's be, let's be nice. I'm not touching that. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. Uh, all right. <sighs> so it looks like it's that. This tree? Yes, it is. Start to digging. It's good as, just as well that I carry a shovel everywhere I go, just in case I need to dig graves. Dig, dig, dug. Oh, well, for a second, I thought it was saying talk. Such a senseless waste. It's done. Thank you. Now, please take him there. Oh, Lord. Now, please take him there. Okay. Uh. Christ. Such a senseless waste. I'm just carrying a body, don't mind me. Just carrying a plagued body. Plague coming through. That'll do! <laughs> Both! Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. Well, hopefully that'll go in my favour. had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like he'd been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's a good start. Mm, okay. Next house. Yo Johan? What the hell? You're a named person. You might have some more information. What can I do for you? Mm. What's happened here? Let's see. It's a bad plague. You indeed so. Mm, see. Worse than you can imagine. The old stud, livestock, sheep. I'm sorry to hear. Yeah. Thanks. Good luck to you. It's probably no, it's probably not much more than what I would have found out anyway. Uh, another marked house. Pretty much everyone got it at this point. Daniel, okay, what would you have to say? Dear brother, is that you? Um, um, yes. Yes, it's me, your um, brother. My friend is nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fire. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes! Please. Brother! Lock the door! They're back again, please, God, no! Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me! I'm your, your brother. I was gone for a long time. <laughs> I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes. Uh, yes. I remember. Oh, my God. Like a water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. 
I can drink a pitcher of water right away and parch the game. Mm -hmm. the Lord wash over you. Mm hmm. Brother, now we have to go. <laughs> wow, he's uh. Brother, now we have to go. Properly delirious. Wow. Um. Is there anybody else? Because uh, that was that house. Is that a, another house? Or is that just something else? That's it, walk over the bushes. Let's get a torch out. Mm, so very thirsty. Hmm. So moving along this way. Can't you see the play cross on the door? Yes, I can. I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. Hmm. I was raving for most of it. Raving? Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Well, <laughs> I'm saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. Hmm. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favor to ask. Mm hmm. So tell me. Yeah, what I is it? Write my will. Can you write? Yes. I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. Wow. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed. Oh my God, all of them are called Vincent. All my worldly goods to my wife, Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin, Dobesh. At this time, the cobbler in Yanovitz. Dobesh. No event shall my prodigal son, Elia. Lay about and good for nothing, inherit a single groschen. All customs and traditions aside. Um, mm. should I write that too? Yes, and then write, the executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently the parish priest at the Church of St. Martin in Sasso. Mm -hmm. Anything else? This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry, presently in field to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, yeah. never. <laughs> Bless you. Have Thank you, Louis, man. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Take the will. All right. Your son, Elijah. What did he do to you? Christ Almighty. Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Everything. He was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. Wow, Last okay, that's cool. Some jack I understand. Himself. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. Uh -huh. Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? In St. Martin's Church, of course. Mm, all right. All right. I'll head off then. Yes. Go now. Go before you catch the disease. Then where will we be? Mm, nowhere. Probably said this before, but I like the story in these type of games. <laughs> um, but yeah. 
there is a lot there is a lot of um, really cool um, you know really cool story in this and and it's just the fact that you know I'm going around and checking all of the plate victims before I go to Sasau. Wow. She is. Oh, sweet mother of God. Yeah, let's leave. I don't want to catch that. Come on, horse. Actually, while they're looking at it, uh, let's see. Mm, bit of smoke sausage, that's fine. So, we're off to Sasau again. Sassau, Sassau. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, wait a minute. Hey. What? Oh, interrogate the captive. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I promised I'll destroy I'd heal his wife. And Sasau. Sasau. Yeah, so if we go there first. So then that way, you know, the captive is not going to die. That's probably it's the parish priest. Cool. It's definitely going to be night time. So let's see what's going to happen along the way, if anything at all, because you never know. You never know. Anything at all. It's Samapesh. Time, 1553. Thank you very much, Louis, man. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get anything done in the middle of the night. Although the monastery is wide open, because I made sure to leave all the doors open. Yeah, I think I'm going to just have to wait until dawn. I could go to sleep, but I can't, can't be asked. So, yeah, just wait. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. Yeah, that's awesome, Louis Man. Come on, load no time. Load, load, load. Well, it's loading. Let's have another bite of donut. Ah. Mm -mm -mm. There are still people out and about. I'm just going to sit here on my horse for nine hours.
Because <clears throat> I wonder what it, what the deal is with this plague. Is it just a not you know just a big plague, or is it some kind of poison? Because the fact that it's affecting both animals and now people. It is a bit odd. Come on, get to eight o'clock. Get to it. Come on. Must. Let's find the parish priest. Uh, that would be you. Hello, Father Fabian. Father, Vincent of Merhoyed sent me to you. What's the matter, my son? Oh. Do I try and interfere? Or do I just deliver his will? Oh, I'm looking for his son, Elijah. They say he's living here in Sasau. Ah, uh, yes, Elijah. He's holed up here somewhere. Most likely you'll find him in a tavern on the green. He spends his days sitting there. Thanks for the advice. Now, do I deliver that and then talk to him? Fuck it. Father, what's the matter? Let's bring him well. Vincent's last will and testament. Almighty Father, be merciful. What happened? Master Vincent has been taken seriously ill. A disease has spread in Merhoyed. Mm hmm. Yes, I did hear that people are sick in some village hereabouts. God in heaven, but Vincent is still alive? Yes. For now. Let us hope the good Lord will leave him here with us a while longer. Thank you for bringing it to me. If Vincent passes on, I'll see to his wishes. Here, take a few coins for your trouble. Thank, Thank you, you, Father. How many coins? Goodbye. 175? Wow, okay. Right, so tavern, 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 tavern. <clears throat> right, where is the tavern? <clears throat> right, tavern green, let's go. See if we can find Elijah. Elijah? No. <clears throat> See if I can ask him. Uh, Nothing I've heard about. All right, maybe not then. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, 
Women have appeared, but no sign of Elijah. Too early? I don't know. I wrote this just a while ago. Bloody hard. Ah, who are you? Townsman, okay. I will find Good it. Good health to you, Henry. I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> but yeah, the music, the music is awesome. Let's uh Oh, unless it's not. Yeah, unless it's the other one. Yeah, I can't. <clears throat> yeah, because there's the lodgings. You might just live there. Probably should have done, you know, done it in a different order, but you know, before giving the will. It's fine. Running, 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 running. Ah, screw it, get wet. Hmm, it's too deep here. Damn. Alright. Gonna have to use the bridge, alright, just because I can't swim. Yes, so let's try that tavern. Mm. Yeah, sure as hell we've got some stamina. I can run far and wide. Right, townsman, 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 townsman. Hmm. In here. Here, just as you ordered. Where is this Elijah? It's probably not you. No, it's just a farmhand. Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. My God. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are there any? Nothing either. Uh, nope, nothing there. Mm. Where is he? Oh well, never mind. I tried. So onwards to speak to your hunker. Hey, I'm feeling a bit feverish now. I've been touching plague bodies. Plague. But yes, hi, Hanko. You know I kind of helped you with your shit. Um, yeah, you can help me now. <clears throat> there she is. Oh, Hanka! I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Yes. And some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. Okay. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. So... She wants to go to see him.
Let us save this town from plague. Plague. Brother Nicodemus. Hello. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Melhoyev. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Ah. Uh. Yes, yes, it's very interesting, but can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. No, okay. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? Um... About half or the whole village? Pretty much. I expect so, or why would they be so fearful about it? Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. And? And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. Mm -hmm. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Yes. Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. So, where should... Evidently there's something else... In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, Tall well. Lies between the mouth and the eye. Uh-huh. We can rule nothing out of... But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian has trans... Study the breviary. Okay. I'll try the proven... Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So I'm supposed to be following you. Oh. And the moment of body's mind. Uh huh. Plague. I think fever. Uh huh. Ah, it's because I'd already read it. Uh, oh, there you are. I think I have it. What is it? Yes? And what do you make of it? Uh... Oh, I am literally supposed to be... <clears throat> um... Alright, let's have a look. <clears throat> uh, the body endeavours to get rid of it. The whole agony is further... Oh. So it's not diphtheria. A few days, swords are up on the body. So it's not the plague. And it's not yellow. <clears throat> it's not that. Fever and delirium, stomach ache. Diarrhea, great thirst. And so it's poisoning. Hmm. 
<clears throat> yeah, I had a feeling. Hey, you look bored while you're reading. <laughs> uh, just, just a bit, just because there was a lot to go through. But I know what. I know what it is. Um, I think I have it. I know what it is. Yes. And what do you make of it? Poisoning. It's poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Yeah, I can help. I could help with that. Really? Yes. Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to... Uh, <laughs> Where was it again? again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes, Merhoyed. I'll take Johanka with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Mm -hmm. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. Um, yeah, let's go. There's one man there who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs. Well, I tried. So is it just the uh, just an antidote that I need then? Didn't really tell me. Uh, oh, it's pestilence. The remedy. Is it just antidote? Cause poisoning. So I need charcoal, nettle, and thistles. Oh shit, he's already gone. Which way did he go? I need to buy things from him. I need to buy some ingredients. Shit. Did you go this way? Now where am I gonna get where am I gonna get that stuff from? Shit. Hmm. So we've just got some apples in there. No, that's hard. Oh! <clears throat> Very well. Let's join you in the boss fight there. Cool. Right.
Hmm. Oh, I got something else. Uh, bones, bowl from K, blah, blah, blah. Book of prayers. This is when I find out it's not that at all that I need because I need the. Who gave me the recipe? Nope, 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 nope. Well, I've got nine antidotes. I'm hoping that's enough. And how do I cure it? Ah, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, antidote must must be it. It has to be. <clears throat> we can, but try. Right. Let's go. I'm going to be very tired when I get there. My energy is getting quite low. Uh, oh, excuse me. So that would explain why there wasn't such a strong force of bandits. Because maybe they weren't, you know, supposed to be the attacking force. They were literally meant to poison it. Perhaps to make people believe that, you know, they're super strong. And they killed everyone in the village. So. find out <clears throat> Nicodemus how's it looking so here I am how are things looking it doesn't look good at all my boy do you have the potion not yet I what potion so what on earth are you doing here if we don't give them the potion in time those people will be joining the heavenly choir soon Get that medicine, Henry. Off you go. Take the care, then. Okay. told me what it was. Alright. Uh, uh, remedy. Yeah, what remedy is it?
So, wait a minute. Sorry, I'm, there. I'm just I'm trying to find out because it says that I haven't got it, but I swear it is just an antidote. Okay. First. So if I the hanker informed, right? I need to go back because apparently there is a specific way, you know, the specific way that you brew this thing. But it didn't pop up with anything to say this is the, this is how you make it. And if I end up travelling now, then I could lose everyone. People could very much die. So let's let's try and do this. Right, so just spoken to Johanka. Need to speak to Nicodemus. Some kind right, of so skip your, through that. A disease. Intriguing, yes. yes. I can't tell me. Um No, I mean not yet. Meho yet. Yes, there's a stud. Not all the animals. Oh, that is what are we to do you know the I know. Yes. Excellent. Yes, I can. Excellent. So yeah, just need to read the book because I know what it is. Where do we so, start? Evidently, this in the what? The digest. Um. Ah, the child. Uh huh. We. But I don't yeah. know. Fortune study the. I'll try. Blah blah blah. I have. I know what it is. Ah. Oh, now I've got to look at the book. I know. I I have... Yes. It's poison. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I? We shall have to prepare. Yeah, I, I can help. help. Really? Yes. An ordinary fellow. I'll get started right. I, meanwhile. Merhoyed. Oh, yes. Thank you, brother. <clears throat> Good luck. And to you, Hen. Right, yeah, so the thing is prepare the remedy. So, unless this is the remedy. Remedies of fleas and warts, fleas. Warts. So we need charcoal, 
Yeah, was it Valerian and Thistle? So, and then, yeah, so I must have been doing the wrong one. Rage, Digestive, Hair of the Dog, Cockerel, Savior Snaps, Marigold. And yeah, all, you know, all of these invocation and more. Ah, there it is. There it is. <clears throat> so, prepare clean water. No. So now I get to do some alchemy. Water. Uh, so drop two thistle. One. That's one thistle. Two thistle. And was it boil for two turns? Yes. Boil. Add the delirium and boil for one more turn. Oh, so. Let's keep it to bubbling. Charcoal, but do not boil. Cool. Charcoal, go. And then tile. Potion. Am I supposed to? No. Is it just one remedy that I need to make? Strange. Oh, wait, yeah, of course. <clears throat> that should cure all. Okay. Right. This should be much, much better. So now I have the remedy. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. Well, no. Ah, oh. Ah, here we go. Ah, there had to be some action coming up soon. Give me your money, you fuckers. <laughs> that that's You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Is that all you got? <coughs> that's how we do it, is it? Yeah. 
Ooh. Oh, you got her. Hey! That went well. Fucking dog! Missed. Hey, hey! <laughs> Shit, no. All right. Oh. Missed. That's another one down. Smoosh! Yep, that's that done. Um, so, yeah. You don't have anything expensive on you. So, more bodies. Uh, I'm sorry. No. I honestly thought I was going to get attacked or something. That would not have gone down well. Black shield. That's right. Lay yourself out. Nothing expensive from you. Ah, some random humans. Better hunting arrows, screw it, let's go for those. <clears throat> I just get loads of shit from these people. Yoink. Strip you of your armour. All of the stuff. Oh, just over. Nothing worth much. Dagger, 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 dagger. Pretzel. Don't worry about taking the torches. <clears throat> ah, so Brother Nicodemus must be there. Slightly over encumbered, but yeah, you know, God, you should you should really move along. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you serious? Right, move the horse. Didn't pick up any anything like that. Uh, uh, uh. Then all that stuff. I'm good there. Oh yeah, I better eat something before. Yum. Some onions. Right, so let's continue.
at Samapesh. Go. Hopefully I'm not going to get attacked again. The last thing I want. Hmm. But yeah, it makes things so much easier as soon as there's somebody else involved because people are distracted by more than one person, so they're easier to hit. Hopefully, I have. It's not considered that I've taken too long. Are you in here? Yes, you are. How are things so looking? So, here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest, and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Malakar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Mm hmm. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. Mm -hmm. They must let me go to him. I hope so, but in the short while I've been here, I've found the locals to be rather stubborn. May the Lord watch over them. Boy, please help us. Please. <clears throat> cool. So, Matthias. And the others. Where are you? Oh, Lord, please end this. Please, no more suffering. No, not, no, not Matthias. Ma, ma, me. Whatever his name is. You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melika. Melikar, there it is. Where the bloody hell is he? He doesn't appear to be at home. Yeah, he's definitely not at home. Hmm. Go in here. Villager, villager. Hey, Henry's come to see us. <clears throat> yep, five now. No, oh, what's his name? Matthias was down here. Let's see what he has to say. If anything. I don't know, it's just the same. We found out what could be the cause, and you should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? 
Good lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young straw. The no, fucking god bastards. Man. Mm, all right, let's uh, you're back. Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above, thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, Good Samaritan. Hooray! So that's one. Hello, Mr. Delirious. Brother, is that you? We have to hitch up the sled. Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water, brother? It is. Drink some, and give it to the others in the house, too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. Mm, cool. Mm, so, yeah, they were dealing with straw. You go, you go deal with that. And, ah yes, you. And I did my thing for you as well. You're back. Of course, I always keep my word. I don't doubt that naturally. Did you deliver my will? Yes. It lies securely in the safekeeping of Father Fabian. What a relief. Don't worry, I've brought a remedy from Sassav. Mm -hmm. Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Right, let's get the cure to the sick. Done. Uh, uh, mm. Wait until the situation clears up. Right, now, Melikar, I need to see that person. Sorry about that, no idea how long my phone froze for and how long it's been. Oh, okay, no worries. That's all cool, bud. Uh, what, what is the B on there for? I'm going to talk to Melikar. Need to see the prisoner. I brought some help as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. Mm. I know, but even so. Just the fact that someone cares, that means a lot to us. Yay! Yeah, don't fact me take care of your wife. Don't fret about that, Medicar. A thing like that would have scared anybody. Just take care of, um... What is your wife's name? Hannah. So, take good care of her. Now open up that shed. Good luck to you. Mm. Oh, there we go. 
Right, here we go. Get into prisoner. Now open up the shed. Yeah, you just take care of your wife, you fucking bum. And this is what we find he's gone. Oh no. He is there. Good luck to you. Alright. Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. Basically, that's the guy that they managed to capture during the raid that they had. Um, but because everyone got affected by the so-called plague, which I figured out was poisoning. Um, then yeah. Um, so in order to interrogate him, I needed to cure the village, which I've done. Bless you again. Thank you. Can't sleep any longer now. Alright, fine. So I'm just hijacking somebody's house, stealing their bench. So, hey, this is where I sleep, not anymore. I sleep here now. Still, I'll get to interrogate this bastard. Four o'clock in the morning. Screw it, I don't care if it's middle of the night. Good day to you. <laughs> we found out and you should check it'd be hard to oh, yeah, 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 yeah. bastards work. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, so no. Yes, I pick it. One in the real world, it's 16.9. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Right, Mr. Bandit. Oh. Welcome back to the land of the living. Who are you? Ha ha. My name is Henry. And I'm investigating on behalf of Sir Radzig Kobala. Oh, I see. <laughs> You'll have an easy job with me, boy. How so? I won't give you any problems. That's sensible of you. I'm a sensible man. Hmm. Only I'd like to get it over quick and not keep the Rate executioner busy too long. If you catch my drift. Mm. I understand. What do you want to know? Everything. First, tell me who's behind all this. Who do you follow? Yeah. I follow the coin, lad. We all do. That's not news to me, but who pays the coin? I got my pay from Runt, like all the men in Pribislavitz. And Runt got his money from the chief. And the chief had the coin minted. <laughs> wow. Who's the chief? 
The bandit leader. Bandit? If he heard you say that, he'd have your head on a spike. That's the kind of man he is. Nobody knows much about him, though. Only that he ain't Czech. Ah. So he's a foreigner? German? Don't think so. For sure he ain't Czech. And he's got plenty of coin. I'd stake my neck on it. He's got noble blood in his veins. Judging oh. by how he looks. More by the way he talks. Any man can dress up like nobility, but he spoke all la di da like a lord. Ah. Where's that chief of yours now? I've no idea. After Privis Lovitz, he ordered us to raid Merhoyed, but he wasn't with us. He went off who knows where. I don't reckon he'll be out of your hair for long, though. Hmm. So the chief is in command of all these operations? You could say. I'd say you're looking at it all wrong, though. How's that? You ask who's in charge and who answers to who. Only this ain't some noble court. There was all sorts of gangs in Privislov. It's big and small. Robber barons who had their own brigades calling them my lord. And common footbags who hadn't a pot to piss in. Men came, men went. Lots of squabbles, the occasional murder. Old cronies and old rivals were meeting. You know what I mean? Hmm. I so. It was one big muddle. The main thing was nobody asked questions. I didn't give a damn who the chief was or what he had in mind or whether he had one ball or two. All I was interested in was the coin. Uh -huh. So, how did you know? How did you know about Privis Lovitz? Who took you there? A fellow by the name of Moorcock. <laughs> Moorcock! <laughs> I was robbing burghers who were fleeing the town from Sigismund's army. We got to talking and he told me about Privis Lovitz. Mm -hmm. Why did you attack Merhoyev? The chief himself gave us the order. But I reckon he wanted to show the local lords he was nowhere near finished. So he's planning more raids? The chief's always planning something. Privis Lovitz was only the start. Mm hmm. So you knew the coin was counterfeit? Yes. Of course I did. I brought those groschen to Privis Lovitz along with a few other things. Did you? And where did the forgeries come from? Like, where were they made? I don't know. Some merchant by the name of Menhart gave them to me. Menhart. We used to meet at the charcoal piles near Rovna, by the crossroads there. As it happens, I'm supposed to be meeting him there about now. Oh, so interesting. Waiting there. Might be, might not. He could have heard what happened in Privis Lovitz and decided not to show. Uh huh. And does this Menhart know where the coin comes from? How should I know? To me, he's just another link in the chain. Mm, I bad. deal with him, and I never ask who he deals with. Just like he knows nothing about me. I see. So I suppose there's no point asking you if you know any more about him. It'd be a waste of breath. All he did was give me the coin, and then we went our separate ways. Mm hmm. Who else knows about the money? Loads of people. Apart from the chief, Menhart, Runt, and me. There was a few others. The men got some real money too with the false stuff. It'd be suspicious if they only had freshly minted coin. Hmm, yeah. You said you used to bring other things. What were they? Letters. Menhart would give them to me for the chief. And this time I was taking an answer back to Menhart too. Mm -hmm. You still got that letter? I. The yokels round here ain't got much interest in correspondence, apparently. Give it to me then. I'd be delighted. He's been very cooperative. What were the letters about? I love some of the voices. That if I knew how to read, I wouldn't be trusted. Like that one. Letters, how would should I? I know? I took them from mm. Menhard to the chief and back. And that's all. Okay. So that's it. That's all I need to know for now. For now? For the love of Christ, boy, don't let the executioner interrogate me. I already.
already told you everything I know. Uh. Uh. All right, fine. I can't deny you've been cooperative. I'll do my best to see you get a quick end. Yeah, <laughs> quick end. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Uh oh. Step back from that, Eden, young fella. But, but you can't kill me. Not just like that. Shut the fuck up, you weasel. I keep it fucking shut. You don't even get a say. Uh oh. Well, Straw, he won't escape justice. After all, he's. Don't stand in my way, Malika. Uh oh. Let Henry decide. He's the one who saved his life. Oh shit. Uh. Mm. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. To hell with that. That horse will kill my boy. He won't leave Barra yet alive. Oh no. Oh. Let's go with I lost my family too. I understand, Straw, truly. I lost my parents. They were slain in front of my eyes, and to the day I die, I'll never forgive myself for doing nothing to save them. And if you got your hands on the man who killed them, would you let them live? I... I suppose. See, go then. Take that bastard and get out of here. And if one day you find your parents' killers, remember what passed here today. Oh. Okay. Well. <clears throat> right, I'm taking, I'm taking the rat eye, not just yet. Not just yet. No, it must be in there. Let's <clears throat> see if Monoclon's got anything interesting. God be with you. No. Nope. May the Lord watch over you. Maybe, yeah, maybe I have to check on it afterwards after I've taken him to to Radzig then. So I'm gonna take him to Radzig. Yeah, to Radzig, and I'm all of a sudden growing a little bit Irish. Don't know why. I'm taking the rat eye. <laughs> Done. About five o'clock already. Damn. I'm taking you there, but apparently no time is passing while we're while we're travelling. Was there any point in doing it like this? You could have just on the loading screen. Yeah, is that fair? Yeah, damn voice and lines, yeah. The lines is good. They really have done a really impressive job with how people talk and, and everything in this one. And yes, so obviously there are some of the same voice actors, but it's not as bad as, say, Skyrim, for example. You know, Skyrim, obviously, you heard the same voice actor all the damn time. Nearly there. See, I'm just delivering things to Rat Eye. It's like, hey, hey, this is Cumin. Here you go. And then I end up having. Oh, I, I'm going to have to tell Radzig all about what I've learned. <laughs> Damn, it's five. Yeah, I know. 
I don't know where the time goes. The time just disappears. Loading please. Loading please. Load now. Load. Load quicker. Yep. Oh yeah, we've got Sir Rantic. He's a fucking Tomberg, so he's not even here. Uh... Hello? Why are you loading? What did I do? Shit, what have I done? Why is it doing that? I don't know. Is there anybody in there? No? <laughs> the torch just lit itself. Hello. Right, um... <laughs> Hello, damned woman. So... Activity giver, who? Oh, the Vagabond. Ah, okay, so that's going to be some other bits and pieces. Mm, bigger. Bigger. Damn, there's nowhere to sleep here. Oh well. But yeah, so because of the time, um, then I'm actually going to leave it there. So I apologise about that. Um, so I will continue, you know, with these next week, unless I get another chance earlier. You know, earlier to continue um, but de don't forget to tune in on Tuesday as we'll be starting our Pathfinder 2nd edition playtest we'll actually be doing it this time rather than just talking about it um, and Wednesday obviously we're continuing with uh, Mass Effect yeah so yeah so yeah so thank you very much guys and, um, you know obviously it's been a little slow you know today but then again it happens so that's all cool um, we've done some shit um, but yeah, so hopefully at least I'll get to see at least some of you soon. So yeah, so thank you very much guys and I'll see you later. Bye!